This video will show you the best way to lay out an irrigation system using pressure regulated sprinklers for maximum water savings and best performance. We will discuss pressure regulation options along the path of the water line from the point of connection to the valve or zone level control and regulation at the head. Make a list of the different types of sprinklers you intend to use on the property. Spray sprinklers will need 2.1 bar or 210 kPa. MP rotators are most efficient at 2.8 bar or 280 kPa. 3 quarter inch inlet mid-range rotors like the PGP and I-20 operate best at about 3 bar or 300 kPa. And the 1 inch inlet larger rotors like I-25 and I-40 will be most efficient at 4 bar or 400 kPa up to about 5.5 bar or 550 kPa. Once you determine the available working or dynamic pressure for the system, you can start to make some decisions. So if you determine that the incoming pressure is well above 6.8 or 7 bar, one solution is to install a system-wide pressure regulator right here at the point of connection. The idea would be to reduce that pressure down to about 1.4 or 1.5 bar above the needs of your largest zone in the property. In this example, we have chosen to reduce the pressure to about 5 bar or 500 kPa for our main line using a system-wide regulator. One option is to install a master valve AccuSync combo on the incoming supply line. The second option is a generic pressure regulator set to the desired pressure. Now that we have 5 bar or 500 kPa in the main line, we can either regulate at the valve with an AccuSync for medium to smaller zones, or regulate at the head using a pressure regulated pro spray body for the larger zones. The same applies to our mid-range rotor valves. We have about 5 bar or 500 kPa at the valve, and we are using the PGP rotor, which operates best at about 3 bar or 300 kPa. We can either use the AccuSync here at the valve, set to 3.8 bar, or 380 kPa, or send the full 5 bar or 500 kPa out to the heads and install the PGP or I-20 with pressure regulated bodies. Micro irrigation selections include many options, point source emitters, drip line, and Ecomat for true subsurface irrigation. Hunter offers drip zone control kits designed specifically for these applications. The drip zone watering kit is a pre-tested and assembled valve, filter, and pressure regulator all in one easy drop-in unit. This is a great pressure regulation solution for all your micro irrigation needs. The regulators are available in 1.7 or 170 kPa and 2.8 or 280 kPa models based on your application. In setting up a system, we have talked about pressure regulation all along the water line. You can use Pro Spray pressure regulated bodies or PRB style PGPs and I-20s at the head locations. AccuSync or drip zone control kits are available for the individual zone levels. And you can incorporate a master valve on the main line with an AccuSync for system wide regulation. So based on your exact needs, you may incorporate some or all of these suggestions into your design for maximum efficiency and application of the water. For more information, refer to our website at hunterindustries.com. And thanks for watching.